Hello guys, the Night Flyer here, and today we will be returning to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. I think in the future I might just say DDLC Plus, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> the moment I opened this I was like, oh man, yeah, I remember what happened last time. Because like, I'm editing and I still haven't even reached the new content yet, so yeah. But anyway, for this episode, or this recording, I thought, let's just do Understanding Part 1 and 2. Without further ado, let's go. Let's hope I can get the voice to be better because I'm listening back to some of the footage and some of the voice work that I'm doing is so bad, man. It's not like it used to be. The club meeting is suddenly interrupted by the sound of the door causing Monica and Sayori to turn their heads. The door opens halfway then stops. A face peeks inside. A face that seems familiar. Yuri, I knew it was you. It, it definitely wouldn't have been that Suki like Sayori's eyes widen, recognizing the girl. She very conspicuously, conspicuously uh, mouths to Monica. It's her! It's the girl! It's true, the girl standing in the doorway is none other than the girl Sayori had come across reading alone in the classroom. Thanks to Monica leaving a flyer on her desk, it seems she's found her way to the club. Are you here for the literature club by any chance? Um, am I in the wrong place? No, you're not. This is the literature club. Please come inside. The girl fully steps in the door, but continues standing against the wall, avoiding eye contact. Sayori continues to fail, containing her excitement. It's happening! Oh my god! Thank you so much for coming. It's Sorry it's a little empty. Um, I'm Monica, and this is Sayori, and we run the literature club. Even though it's just us so far, but... What's your name, by the way? I'd like to join your club. Already? Wait, really? Are you sure? I... I mean, I should be good enough. <laughs> Everyone is welcome here. You don't have to be good enough. Oh... Um, do you want to have a seat? We'd love to know you. Get to know you. The girl nods, sliding over to a nearby desk and gently sitting down. So, what's your name? Yuri. I'm Sayori. And this is Monica. Sayori, I heard he... Nice to meet you. Um, do you like fantasy? Like books? Yuri looks at Monica. Fantasy is cool. Yes, uh, have you heard of Annabelle Dupont? Uh, I can't say I have. Oh, well, she's my favourite author. I'm on her fifth book and it's just... Yuri grins and presses her knuckles against her cheeks in joy. You can borrow my books, I wouldn't mind. You're really in for an incredible experience. Um... Monica stammers, caught completely off guard by Yuri taking control of the conversation. She glances sideways at Sayori, silently asking for help. I'd love to! It sounds like you're really into them, so they must be great! I am so happy I found this club. Oh, I'm so stupid. I left all my books in my locker. I should have brought them. Yuri quickly stands up. I'll be right back. I'll go get them for you. Uh, you probably only need to bring one for now. Siri nervously says that, no, uh, noting, noting? Noting, noting. Yeah, noting to herself the considerable heftiness of the book that Yuri set down on her desk. True. Okay, I'll go get the first one then. Yuri exits the club room in a flash, leaving Monica and Sayori silently exchanging glances. Oh my gosh, I wasn't prepared for this. How do I handle someone so intense? I have like, no experience with fantasy. Except maybe stuff that I read when I was a kid, but that's probably like a joke compared to what she's into. I'm sure it'll be fine. In fact, I think it's neat that we have different people who are into different kinds of literature. It'll be fun to learn from each other. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree, but what if this is her only interest? Doesn't it kind of seem like that? Monica, don't you think you should be more optimistic? We have a new club member. There shouldn't be room for anything but being happy. <laughs> I'm excited to get to know her more, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry for being so hasty. I just got really anxious all of a sudden. It's because you're afraid of not being able to take the lead. <laughs> what the heck? It's kind of scary how you can point things out like that, Sayori. I just like learning what makes people happy or sad. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You'd probably be great at helping Yuri feel comfortable here. Maybe you could take a break from helping me with the administrative stuff and just focus on spending time with her. Yay! That's exactly what I want to do! Besides, Sayori lowers her voice. I'm probably going to need all the time I can get. She taps her fingers against the dauntingly chunky book Yuri left sitting on the desk. Right afterwards, the door opens to reveal Yuri's return. I, I'm back. Her breath is slightly heavy, which, combined with the, her short time gone, indicates she may have ran at least part of the way. She makes her way back over to Sayori and sets 
the book down on her desk. Just as Sayori feared, the book Yuri brought for her is just about equal in size to the one already on Yuri's desk. Well, there are probably a few things you should know before getting started on it. There are some things that are more explained in other books that take place in the same universe, so going over those would be good to keep you from getting confused at the start. Uh, um... Sayori nervously interjects. Well, I was thinking that maybe today we could just get to know each other a little bit more. You know, I think like, if we're going to be reading together, then I would like that. From across the room, Monica smiles and nods at Sayori while Yuri isn't looking. Oh, okay. Yuri sits down, then looks at her book, then glances around the room, showing no indication that she has anything more to add. So, what made you decide you wanted to join the club? Well, I like reading, so I was immediately interested. I had no idea that someone was starting a literature club, but that's my fault since I haven't been paying attention to any of the club uh, recruitment advertisements. I only found out because she... Yuri glances over at Monica. Monica! Monica came into my classroom and put the flyer on my desk. Suddenly Yuri's face darkens and she shakes her head to herself. I was so stupid. I got too nervous and I couldn't even look up. So she just walked out. It took me several days just to come here because I was afraid that Monica told everyone how inconsiderate I was. But I decided that was probably irrational. Wait, no, that was totally my fault. I felt so bad about interrupting you that I just like walked out. I was actually really hoping that you'd come by. <sighs> Yuri exhales in relief. I always seem to interpret things as the worst possible scenario. Well, I was really nervous to come here for some other reasons too, such as there being too many people. Not that I mind that much, but I have a really hard time having it to meet a large number of new people at once. So it's actually amazing that it's just the two of you. I definitely came at the right time. Ah, that makes me so happy! I'm proud of you for working up the courage to come. Yuri smiles warmly to herself. I've never really had the privilege of sharing my interests with others before. It's so hard to find others who are into the same things I am except online. So I thought the literature club would provide a chance for me to do that. What kind of other things are you into? Like genres? I don't know, just anything. Even if it's not literature. Oh, uh, just things you would think are dumb. Sayori so pauses, a look of concern on her face. How about I'll tell you something I'm into, and then you could tell me about something you're into? I suppose that would be okay. Okay! Well, I'm pretty into, like, crafty things. Like making cute little collages or decorating things. Like cards or jewellery boxes. My room's always cluttered with random stuff because I keep buying things to make gifts for my friends. But then I put it off until the last minute. <laughs> so yeah, that's something kind of silly I'm into. You sound quite creative. Not that much. It's just that you'd be surprised by how much you can do with scissors and glue and stuff. 